Hello everybody and welcome once again to Surviving with Blood Magic. This episode it's worth a time I reckon because we would like to get our altar upgraded to tier 5. So the first thing we're going to do is actually do some potions because I had promised to do those. You'll also notice I've got a glowing helmet because I did some enchanting on it just to see what it did. So let's start with doing that shall we. So all the potions are made on the uh, alchemy table. So all we need to do is basically put things in. So we, we could put a bottle of water in and some nether wart, glowstone and redstone and a, of course we need a magician's, an, an orb in here. And that should make us a flask or two of potion, which I hope it makes two. And then the second thing we can make is then we can actually turn this flask up. We get, there's one. Doesn't stack so you can't, you've got to take it out. And it should do the next one. Now we need a second bottle of water, of course. Oh, actually maybe, no, I don't think they stack. We'll see in a second when I shift it out. And these will give us some potion flasks with no effects. So we have to put a flask, a, an effect into this. So the next thing we're going to make is actually um, some lengthening crystal. Now we'll, we'll do the first thing first, shall we? So I'll put one of those in and a magna cream. Put the shift those to it, shift those two in, and it should then give us a potion of fire resistance. You can find out easily enough. Here we go, potion of fire resistance, two minutes. And we can do the other one as well. Put that in like that. Now you can tell by that if you can look at the recipes on or the uses of these flasks. So here's a flask kit, for example. So if you look at the uses of that, other than enchanting it which is because uh, I'm managing mending you can mend it so it'll look I can't get mending very often it's quite a rare enchant but then you can see here if you click on the alchemy table what the different uses if, of it are so in this case we've got um, regeneration night vision you know I'd quite like a night vision potion let's go and make a night vision potion because I'm not prepared for that I will be honest so let's just do that as well the other ones I've done already so I need some a carrot, some gold nuggets. I've got six. We need more, don't we? So just do it that way. Uh, and we need another potion. So that's another another wart. I'm trying to remember what the recipe for it is now. I think redstone and glowstone, like that, and a bottle of water. Plenty of bottles of water. Keep away from those chickens. In here, like that. They're from fishing, so I haven't even bothered making those. Let's try that again. So let's do the night vision one. So I also uh, should have done the prepared that further thing first, shouldn't I? So we need one of those in here. Glowstone and redstone should make us the potion flask. While that's doing that, let's make the let's make the um, golden apple, a uh, golden carrot. it away and right off we come again so now we have this one let's put this into here I mean, we have to put, take it like this of course because it can't work in the output slot so we have our night vision potion and now we can use lengthening crystal I need some more of this stuff so lengthening crystal uh, lengthening is basically these three together so so another wall lapis and some gunpowder will make a lengthening potion uh, catalyst so let's make another one of those, one of those, one of those, and some nether wart. There's two types. You can basically, you see we've got our, this lengthening potion. Uh, if you look at the, um, if I look at the uses of my night vision flask here, you'll see it should have two uses, at least two. So we can do simple lengthening, which then increases its time. Uh, or we can have night vision 2. I'm not actually sure what night vision 2 is, to be dead honest with you. But anyway, that's the power catalyst, and that works with quite a few things. So if you look at the recipe for that, it's exactly the same, except for instead of um, lapis, we've got redstone, and it gives us power. So I'll make another one of those. And we'll lengthen our night vision and our potion flux. So if put those up there like that, and of course it'll do. I got this wrong. I think that. Oh, I need. Um, yes, I need magma creams in this one as well. And I probably need another golden carrot, I guess. Take that one out. 
put this one in. Now this is actually better. You get eight uses in here, so you get five minutes per use. If I did this with the vanilla potions, you'd get eight minutes, but of course you don't have five slots used up, which is um, not so nice. So I think we need a golden carrot for the night vision one, I would guess. So let's just get that one out. I also need another piece of gold because I've only got seven in there. I'll make the golden carrot up. Seems to be the way it works, just as a guess. I didn't actually check the recipe, I'm just guessing it's the way it's working. Put the nugget away and try again. So, another thing, catalyst, we need a night vision potion and a golden carrot, I guess. Yep, sure enough. So whatever it is, you need it again for doing the there. So we now have a night vision potion of that. Now that will there's a great for the nether. We'll, we'll, we'll keep hold of those. You'll also notice my sword's a bit um, glowing at the moment. It's actually always glowing. In fact, it's I put mending on it. And if you look at the, the attack speed, it's actually 1.1, so it's a fairly fast sword. And that's because of these Tartaric gens. It uses the one with the most will in, and the most will at the moment is a greater Tartaric gen, gem. And we're going to have a look at this in a minute as well. Inspectora Scandalum. And that is, if you look at the recipe for that, it's just a book in the um, Blood Altar Tier 1, gives a thousand. LP gives you this thing. What you're supposed to be able to do with this, you're supposed to be able to shift right click on an altar and it'll show you the pattern of the next thing. So let's go over the other side. I oh, know I don't want to do that now. I want to go to the nether, don't we? Let's do that. I just I just thought I'd just uh, leave that in there. We'll see what the effect of that is in, in a short while, I hope. So I think I've got everything I need for the nether. What have I got? Oh, yes, I know what I wanted to do. Let's take that with us. As a, I'm going to want to upgrade the altar over there. I've actually already clicked it and it doesn't disappear. It's strange. It's, oh, wrong way. <laughs> right click this. And I've built another wherever it is. You'll see I've got this all prepared here. This is all prepared for the next layer. And if you look at this now, when I'm moving the mouse across here, you'll see you've got the markers here. I've done the same one over here for just a demonstration purposes. This is a standard blood altar. So if you, when you right click this now, shift right click it, it tells you what you're missing. So it misses a blood ruin at minus 220, 65, 277. Oops, and that should be here. You can see that on the, on the mini map, that tells you the same thing. I don't know what it stores it in. Yes, it does store it in here. So you can see that's the, the position of the next blood, blood ruin. We're going to do that over here shift right click this so it's now telling me the next is a beacon and it tells me where the position of the beacon is it also highlights the position when you're looking at it um, the items if we just go back over here so where's it gone to I have to shift right click this because it was working a second ago you just have to look at it normally you shift right click it and it takes you to the altar different levels here Anyway, I don't know what I've done now. Never mind. We know what to do for that one. We know we need to do this. And here's the stuff I've been preparing for this anyway. So I've got some stuff prepared. So I'll put the book in here as well. And there's also some blood runes in this chest as well. Uh, Master Ritual Stones for, for rituals. And here's one I've built. Now, this one is... Um, which one is it? Ritual of Living Evolution, and that was supposed to be, now I think, according to some documentation I read, you have to use the Demon Week uh, activation crystal to activate this. I'm not sure. Let's just try it anyway. Um, should try to click that on it. On the Master Ritual Stone, it doesn't do anything. To confirm that, let's have a look at this. Uh, information we need. Information. It's got no information, so it hasn't been activated. So you do need to upgrade to do this one. And this is the one that gives you the next level of upgrades for your armor. You need a, a demon activation crystal. So the demon activation crystal is basically, uh, it's not a weak, it's not a, it's not a, there's no uses of this particular one. I don't think we need another, so maybe there is actually. Let's have a look, demon activation. 
or awakened I think it is so we have this one awakened activation crystal so we need an Archmage's Blood Orb and another star. So Archmage's Blood Orb comes from the tier 5 altar. So you've got to get to tier 5 to get one of these. So anyway, that's today's goal. So let's go over to the nether now and I'll see you in a second when I'm there. Alright, I'm here. I've cleaned this up a bit. I removed the second term portal. We don't need two portals. So this is the... Um, I've set up this also. It's uh, same, exactly the same as we did last time. So we simply right click this and we'll, do, we'll trundle off to the nether when the button comes up. Uh, it should be just near the fortress. The fortress is just up the door here and down there, as you can see. So first of all, we'll take some, I think we'll take this. I'm going to just check the light levels as well while I'm doing this. So let's have a look now. Night vision, uh, F4. It's actually too bright in there. I think if I can do this, it will give me an armor upgrade. But this is, yeah, this will do. This will be fine. Let's drink some night vision potion as well. So if I stay in light levels which are low for a period of time, we'll get to, we should get one of the enhancements of the armor. So there's a blaze over there. It shouldn't be spawning, but I haven't messed, I have messed this up a bit. So we'll just shoot him. There's a normal skeleton. What I want is this one, because this has got four pal on it. So four pal basically is going to give me heads so I've got one head from the skeleton just like that so if we look around now we should see if I can see them that they're over there somewhere exactly where they are I'm not sure at the moment oh yes there we go here's some with the skeletons wait for him bam wait for him bam See, I'll be also picking up some demon, demonic will here as well. So from those three, I got one skull, which actually isn't that great. <laughs> Normally I get more than that. I've got my magnet on. Let's make sure I've got the magnet on just in case. So, um, where are some more? Well, you see what I've been doing. So I've been basically doing that. So I'll tell you what, I'll do some more and come back in a second when I've got... Well, somebody's shooting me from over there. I'll come back in a second when I've got enough. See you in a second. Now I wonder, I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. I'm going to try it anyway. I'm going to shift right click this. No, it doesn't work. This is the transpositional for a uh, sickle. So that didn't work. I just wanted to see if it actually did work here. So I'm just waiting around. So since it doesn't work, I'm going to go back over there. Well, didn't take long. Got four. Um, I got some <laughs> other bits and pieces as well, of course. I've got to be a bit careful. <laughs> I was getting a bit hammered there, to be honest with you. No, let's go back anyway. I've got enough stuff in here. So we just have this one. I've programmed with a switch. So there we go. So we just go back home now. We're, oh, actually, here. I'm not going home yet. I need to go and get the rest of the stuff we want. So we need some soul sand here. Um, that'll be enough for doing one. In fact, actually, if you look in my chest here I've actually got 24 of these and some more soul sand I need some more soul sand but we'll just do one for the time being and I'll do the rest off camera so to speak so here I built a little tower that goes all the way outside let me show you I'm just where how that works I just basically pull it up and at the same time as pulling it up I just put some um, so another uh, rack down just carried going right to the top bit dangerous when you get towards the top of course but it's not a problem if you've got fire resistance because of the lava you could end up going through lava so i want to go up there don't i so let's go up there first of all now uh, you all know probably there's a space in the in the nether where you can grind uh, there's quite a few spaces in the nether where you can grind with us without any problem whatsoever so we're going to do that um You'll also notice that I did, in fact, put onto my, um, which one is it, the, I can't remember now, Good about it, what did I put it on, onto here, I did actually put um, mending on it, but this one here I think is the one I want to use, because it's got a 13 attack damage, and this has got 10, and this will increase with your um, will, so I think this will is 4096, 
and this well may have gone up a little bit we'll find out in a second so I'm going to go down down here to this to the place where your grind with us not very far actually as it happens here it is in fact so it's already got one set up so basically I put a block down here and then four soul sand like that and we'll just put the um, three heads onto it and we'll get our first with it one two three there you go bang in a second just move out of his way so it doesn't get hurt too much when it goes bang there you go now of course you hit him with your axe 83 bit noisy for me <laughs> but it doesn't take too long to actually sort him out there we've got our first one um, I need to do four so I'll be back in a minute with four of these guys actually I need to do five well this is the last weather I'm going to do uh, but I have noticed something when I was doing this I had the great Tartaric gem with me and this wasn't going up it was stuck at 400 so let's get on this guy this guy I'll use the, this one does make a difference sometimes so it the, it goes down a long way like you just did then it takes a lot of damage no matter which one I use there we go there's the last one of those that repaired that completely if I'd put this in the offhand I would have got that one completely repaired so we've got nine with the stars at the end of all of that a bit easy but of course I suspect I'm not sure if there's any enchantment or there is a, a wither potion I think or at least a ritual but I'm not sure if that's any use to us for this type of stuff anyway I'll see you back at the base so we just need to make some beacons let's make some beacons I forgot how to make beacons oops this one is glass and it's glass and um, obsidian I think yeah we should be able to make four with that which is what we need for this so let's go over to the other base and assemble the tier five altar don't know second time actually we probably use this quite a lot of uh, LP doing all of that as well so now where's my little book I forgot where I put it oh it's in here and we've got the runes that we want in here um, you see I've got some augmented capacity runes and I did replace the ruins in here I left put it at one level and replaced the these are now augmented capacity and these were before were um, just capacity runes and before it had 42,000 LP in the in the network oh, chicken egg oh, great let's have a look how much it, it takes now so it's 45,000 well almost 46,000 LP in this for one um, altar so let's now upgrade it so obviously we need the beacons in the corners here fairly straightforward it happens I could use the, where's the book here I think if I shift if I right click it I did see it was telling me if I shift right click this now so it needs a beacon at minus two four six five or seventy I'm not sure exactly where that is but there's not basically there here <laughs> now does be do beacons give light let me have a quick look indeed they do so I don't need to put oh there you now you can see them um like that you can see where you've got to put the ruins if I dig out this one here you'll see it doesn't need a ruin in there so those are the beacons if you come back up now it'll tell me it needs ruins in different places so just right click missing ruins so just the ruins just sit in here so let's go and put those in I'm going to put the augmented augmented capacity ones in first and see how much we get in when we've actually got another eight of these in like this I'm going to put one in each corner I'm going to turn off light levels because I don't need those on anymore and then in the middle of these I'm I'm sure what I'm going to put in that moment I've got some displaced charging ruins which I'd like to try and I've got some displacement ruins I've got five of each so what I'll do is I'll put them down here now these ones I didn't turn off the light levels did I these ones here displacement runes speed up the um, the movement of the blood from the altar 
into the stones, into the charging stones, and also into tanks. There we go. And these are the charging rooms here. There should be one whole spare, I think. You need 13 on each side. Um, so I'm just going to put the other 41 ruins down like that and come back in a second. So the last one, let's go and have a look at the altar now and see if it's gone up to the tier 5. Uh, no, it hasn't. What have I done wrong? Let's right click this. Shift right click it. Missing a blood ruin at. Oh, must be having. Oh, <coughs> haven't done a row. Right, sorry. I'll come back and. Oh, I shall do these now. They're very quick. It's not too much of a faff to do it, even on camera. Let's try this now. Let's have a look at this. Tier 5, indeed, it is. There isn't a tier 6. Well, if there is a tier 6, it's to do with... Uh, I was hoping there was a tier 6. But you need Thorncraft installed to do tier 6. And I'm not sure if that even exists anymore. I mean, Thorncraft does, but I'm not sure if the ritual exists anymore to do it. So, right. So, let's have a look at the... Oh, I was going to check the capacity, wasn't I? So, I've put these ruins down. So, I've got 98,000 in here, which is fantastic. <laughs> wow. So, the next thing to do is go and fill this up with some blood come over here get my which I have left over the other side I tell you what I'm back in a second with all the bits and pieces yep I needed the dagger I emptied that in my inventory before I went to the nether you know just in case who knows so we've got nothing in here at the moment and I think it's probably going to use some of this to start with so let's try it click for to, to replenish the altar might not do upgrading is different from actually changing the altar so how much do we get in there now that's the wrong button wrong way Yes, 40 odd thousand in one hit. So I just eat again when I can, that is. I have actually also created another um, ritual on the other side. I put it above the ritual of the Well of Suffering because and it's called the Ritual of Regeneration, strangely enough. It gives you regen. It's, it doesn't give you a lot of regen, and the idea is that the mobs will survive a little bit longer. Actually, I'm taking the out. I don't want this out in here, do I? I'm taking all the all the blood out of the network, and then what I want to do is to put another star in there to get another star upgraded. Right, can do an art major's blood orb. So right, eat again. So now we can come down here. We should have we should have five now. Five hearts, good. This is filled up. And here we go again. Now we need 80,000 LP for the next one of these. Oops, try. Oh, could eat 80,000 LP. I've got 65. Not enough yet. Right. I'll tell you what. I'll get this filled up and I'll come back in a second. This is going down. <laughs> That's because I put these um, charging ruins in here. You'll see it's going down. It's actually going down reasonably fast. Anyway, I should, I should be able to do this next time. Let's have a look. We've got 96,000 in here. So we do, all we need to do now is to put the uh, another star in here. And that should then turn into our mage's blood orb. So let's hopefully we'll do. When it starts, in fact, it should have already used the, all of that L. Yes, it's gone. All the charging, you can see, has disappeared now. Well, it's gone zero. But you'll also notice it's already reached 25,000 um, fairly quickly. It's got 80,000 to go. And we've uh, used 50, that was going down at a rate of 50 per tick, so it's very fast. So we should have what our art major blood up fairly quickly. So let's have another bite to eat and regen our stuff up again. And we can actually go back over to the, while well, that's doing that, don't need to watch it, do we? We can come over here and regen ourselves up again. Of course, once we've got the orb, the art major's orb, Arc Mage Orb. I keep calling it. I keep calling it the wrong one. I do apologise. It's typical, isn't it? Once we've got one of those, we can then extend the incense altar to give us even more um, cutting power, so to speak. How is it doing? There we go. So that's it. Number top level orb. So then we have the uses of this one. And one of the uses is to make the awakened crystal. Now, where is that one? 
this one. So we can raffle that with another to start. We should get one of those. So let's do that as well. While we're here, let's open wrong place. What I also promised to do, and I haven't done this, is to go to the fold. If we've got time, we'll do it because it doesn't take very long to do that. So we need another star and uh, the orb. Uh, I probably need to. No, maybe not actually. Let's see if it works. Yes. So it doesn't need activating. There we go. So we've got our recipe. Now we also ought to do this as well, in fact, for that matter. Shift right click on that one. Give it give ourselves a little hit and then this will then consume all the all the blood in the altar and give us a lot. So let's have a look at this now. At the moment you'll see oh got in the third state. So you'll see this is going up. And the, the blood ulcer is going down. Let's just have a oh yeah, I can do another hit now. See how much we get in the altar. So 65,000. I don't know how much these ruin, these five are going to give us. I think they're a little bit on the uh, exponential side because one gave me 1,000. Maybe it didn't, maybe it gave me more and I just didn't see it. But that one I had it in the old, other altar without the displacement ruins. Of course, the next thing we can do is do ruins of self-sacrifice to increase, increase that as well. So we look, then we're able to get quite a lot in here as blood in one go. The idea is to basically, for the big things we want to craft, this is the place to do it. So now, we can also do obsidian. Now, have I got any obsidian with me or not? If I haven't, I don't mind. We'll do that next time. No, I haven't brought any obsidian with us. What we're going to do now is we're going to do the gate of the fold. Because that's going to take, doesn't take very long, about five minutes to set it all up. But it is complicated in, in a way. Now what we need for that is, um, let's get it out of the chest too. We need two master ritual stones and some, remove this bloke slate out of the way, get out of the way horse. <laughs> and we need 30 um, rich ritual stones. Cool. <laughs> Pushed around by a horse, I don't believe it. Right, so what we can do is I've set up two areas. One of them's here. And what you've got to be careful about is it doesn't matter so much underneath, but don't put them on dirt because when you put it on dirt, it, there's a chance of that dirt block turning into into um, into grass blocks. To, there's a chance of it turning into dirt block, and then it has a different key. So here I've just done some polished detrite in here. Um, so let's get the ritual diviner out here. I don't need this. I just need the master ritual stone like this. So we want the gate of the fold, which I think is on before well of suffering. As before, before the well of suffering. There we go. The gate of the fold. Gate of the fold, and it needs 15 stones. So we put down the master ritual stone like this. Then we can simply right click this. But before we right click it, we'll look at the direction. So at the moment we are facing hard to see actually north. So we're facing north. So I look at the, this thing here, and it says direction current direction is north fine so we can right click this like that and then we can activate it but before we activate it we want to give it a block as a key i'm going to use these ritual stones as a key now it does two blocks out what you got to watch out for is things like torches that's okay that's not two blocks out so i put it in front of this um green one i think that's earth i would guess that's air fire water and earth aren't they and that's dust dusk i think is there is that one so now we can activate this i need the activation crystal doesn't matter whether i use either of these two now so this one should activate it do you have to shift right click it onto me first yes i do so energy is now flowing flowing through this so that's its key next thing we do is go and build another one i've set up another place over here uh, yeah that's okay that's out of the way of the thing so this time we're going to be facing east okay so, in this, so when we have a look at this thing it's probably still saying it's facing north so what you do is you left click it or shift left click it no sorry you left click it and that says it's now current direction is east like that put down the master ritual stone and then we can simply fill that in if they hold it down okay put and then we get the green one in this position here as well if you didn't turn it around it would actually be building it in the opposite direction 
like that. And then we can activate this. And then, with a bit of luck, as I walk through it, we should just appear on the other place. And it didn't work. <laughs> just great. Uh, I better go and check the torches. If you've got a torch in the wrong place, it doesn't work. And it looks all right to me. I'll tell you what, just for the sake of it, and I'm not sure this is going to work or not, I'm going to break this block here and put it back one here. Now that's actually dirt. I don't think it matters because I think it only does it on this level or on the actual levels of the bricks. So let's do it around there. I have done this before and it did work. So I'm a bit confused as to why it's not working at the moment. So to rekey this, you simply right click at this stone again and it does it. And sure enough, this time it it worked. I'm over here. Now this costs 1000 LP per transfer. So I've got to be a bit careful because I've been using a lot of LP just recently. Let's just have a check what it says. 76,000, yeah, I've used a reasonable amount. Um, now you can break these blocks here, like that. And it should, we should be able to transfer back again. Like that, see? It's a bit confusing sometimes, but we're on the side of the altar. Now, how much does this thing cost to activate? Before I do that, I want to double check this because I don't want to have problems. I know what we can do. Let's fill up the altar. Let's put the Blood Mage Orb into its place. This one, let's put this one into here. Like that, and that's going to use up this pretty quickly. But it'll also, at the same time, we're going to get a reasonable amount of blood back for it. So let's take the Sacrificial Dagger. Let's go and charge it up. You have to be near. Like that. And then right click this, like this. I'm not sure how much time it gave in that time. 79,000. And now we've got 10 million in the altar. So we've got plenty of capacity in the altar for the net, for the network. So instead of having that, so we've got 79,000. I think that's enough. But if I die, I die. <laughs> we'll see. So we right click this. And you see a rush of energy that throws at the ritual. And then when we stand on this, we should get. I think we get hurt. So I'll just make sure we're eating. Before. It should actually. And then increase the armor. Before, I'm going, before I do, do that, I'm just going to make sure I get up to uh, full health. You never know. How much did that use in the, uh, from this thing? I didn't actually use too much essence by the looks of it. I should be able to eat again, get up to full health quickly. And then we should get another 100 points on our stuff. Let's see if this works. Upgrade acquired, there you go. Actually, it didn't hurt this time, unlike the other one. So this time we now should have 300 points. And I've already got um, 268 of those done. So I've got quick feet 8. My goodness gracious me. A healthy 3, That we've had that before. If there's anything, Bodybuilder 1, I think that's a new one, I don't remember that from before. Fierce Strike, I think, is also new. So the next one we can do with this is Poison Resistance. So Quick Feet 8 is really fast, you're walking really fast with Quick Feet 8. And that's just walking. Running, that's running. And that's fast enough, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to be able to cope with that. Anyway, I think that's a, a good note to finish on. So we've done a tier 5 altar, we've done the gate of the fold and we've also upgraded our living armour once again. So I wish you all the best. Until next time, bye for now.